Hi, welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm Sarah Carver-Milne, the head gymnastics coach at Brown University. And we're gonna share with you today one of Maylee Costa's 9.9 .9 bar routines. And telling you a little bit about it as we watch it is Coach Jay Villegas, who coaches May on bars. I'm Jay Villegas, I'm the assistant coach for women's gymnastics. And today we're gonna to share with you what makes May Costa so great on bars. As you can see, May starts out her routine completely focused. Um, she's zoned in on the bars and she's ready to go. Um, now this routine was incredibly important um, because May hit the school record with a 9.9 .9, and that's also her personal record. And she did this in January in one of our first competitions. So it just shows that she had been preparing all of preseason in order to be able to hit for her team. The first skill right off the bat is one of her most difficult skills, high level skill called a Jaeger. She does this beautifully with amazing amplitude. One of the other things that makes her so special is her body lines. If you notice her lines and her form are impeccable. Many collegiate gymnasts do these skills and these routines, but May takes it to a whole nother level because of her lines and her form. Absolutely, and you'll see she puts the exclamation mark on her routine with that stuck landing. Okay, so a handstand should be a very straight body skill, and sometimes you'll see athletes who think their body position is straight and it's kind of bent like this, but if you watch me, her body alignment, all the joints line up just perfectly straight, so that would be considered her lines. A Jaeger's a single bar release. There's many different single bar releases. This one is um, you know, exceptionally difficult, the timing on it, and it's also somewhat blind because when she lets go, her head is down and she loses sight of the bar until she completes the skill again and then the bar will come back into sight. So she has to be pinpoint accurate in doing so, and the result would be her missing and landing on her stomach. So there's a lot that goes into the timing of that skill and it takes a lot of practice to be able to create the kind of consistency, and May does this time and time again. So one of the things that we do <clears throat> at the gym is um, because it's because gymnastics is, is just constantly repeating something over and over again, it can get somewhat kind of redundant and boring. And, and so in order to keep kids motivated to keep doing the same thing every day, you have to create scenarios. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the entire bar team, split them in half and create two teams and tell them that day we're going to have a little competition. I'm going to judge and I'm going to see who, who, has, who does the best best routine for that day. And in so often, May has that ability to focus just like she does in the competition. As soon as she hears the word compete, <laughs> trick goes off in her brain, that just allows her to be able to focus and zero in on what she needs to do to be consistent to hit that bar routine. So May came to us um, and was only able to compete two events because she had a back injury. Um, so managing that, being smart about her training, um, while also giving her the opportunity to compete and get some experience um, was a little bit of a, a juggling act. Um, but May con continuously had a positive attitude, worked hard, um, did what she could when she could, um, took days off when she needed to and was just very smart about it. Um, so she was able to compete two events her freshman year. Um, last year, she actually added a third event um, because she'd really learned how to listen to her body and train properly so that um, she had that longevity and could make it through the season. Um, she qualified to NCAA regionals as a freshman, um, so that certainly shows her potential. And I think that gave her the confidence um, that she needed to go right into her sophomore year and add an event and be right back up at the top hitting uh, the school record in, in early January. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Coach's Corner. Jay and I appreciate it. Um, we hope you enjoyed watching May and her school record breaking 
our routine. You can check us out on social media, on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, um, and even TikTok. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs>